So welcome back everyone to another video. Today we're going to be playing some F1 2020 and we're going to do a last, the first challenge. I basically just want to see how far I can get the grid in uh, in Singapore. We're going to start in the meantime and then we're going to switch on to the softs at the end because I think when we go up against like when we get high up the grid we're going to want to go on uh, softs and uh, what well, mediums will just let us hopefully, who knows, we might be able to do an overcut, maybe gain some time something. Obviously the first rule I have is I'm not allowed to overtake into the first corner. Because either wise, I could overtake like, well, like five cars. Okay, we'll overtake Raikkonen and, okay. I wasn't really paying that much attention on uh, the car front and, yeah. But I could dive bomb around, but I don't want to just like, kind of thing my way through. Yeah. I don't think that was the best thing of hitting into the rear wing. Can these guys uh, be a bit quicker? Okay, I think should start clearing up now, and uh, we've kind of made the past the first couple of corners. So yeah, uh, I feel like I could get a podium. I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, when you're a lot faster car, it can be quite hard because the braking so early too. Because obviously, uh, I have a difficulty on 90. I usually play like 95 or 100, so I... I obviously turned up the difficulty a bit, so otherwise I would never be able to give out through the field. The reason I'm up for Singapore is because recently I have started, I've started to really enjoy Singapore as a track. We'll just go around the outside. I've really started enjoying Singapore. I feel like it's a really cool track. I don't. I hate like Monaco. Like Monaco, I hate it. I really dislike the track because I'm non-stop just breaking wings. But even if this is like a street circuit, it's like it's like big enough that you really don't hit that the wall that much. So I really enjoy this track. I really feel it's a good layout. Obviously in real life, the overtaking, it's not the best for overtaking. But, yeah, I think in the game it's actually a pretty cool track. At least I think it is anyway. We're coming up to the last lap. We've already overtook the five people. Well, it's a good pace. We need to get past Magnusson. And, uh, Magnusson, what are you doing? Why did he slow down and do some shaky shaky? Yeah. So yeah, I think uh, we're just gonna try and take up over as many people as possible. I mean, as they go and pit for softs, that's some medium runners. As they go and pit for softs, uh, yeah, we'll move, uh, we'll keep going, and hopefully uh, manage to maybe do an overcut on some cars, or just basically get far enough ahead that we don't get repit over and on the softs that we can catch up to the front runners. But we have to see. So yeah, we'll just keep driving and we'll see what happens. I'm inside we go and we'll just do that boom and now signs of front is on mediums we might have to get him down into turn whatever the hell this is if we dive bomb it we can just send it yep we're up in the P12 so surprisingly um yeah I feel like one day also might try to do this in a red bottom you might also ask why I'm um, just playing in uh, F1 2021 the main reason is I don't really enjoy buying this game every year. I buy this game like every like two years basically. That's why I'm not playing on F1 2021 even if that's been out for a couple of months. I just don't enjoy uh, buying every year. I, I buy every two years or something like that. Basically I just wait for enough features so it's actually worth buying it again. Because F1 2021, the only reason I'll buy it will be for the new courses and that's it. Okay, we got past Norris. Now we've got a stroll we got to deal with, and it'll be up in the points position. Uh, I think R uh, Ricardo's up in the P3, you can't he? One of the uh, Reynolds is, so that's very good. It's also good for us because of, uh, I don't think he should ever get around with the distance. We should be able to get a good ground nope. Let's just go down the inside. We've got the fastest lap. Obviously, we're on a lower difficulty, but it is good that we're on mediums. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check. My teammate. No, don't want updates. I want to. Let me go to the teammate. I want teammate stats. Okay, they're on softs, and that means uh, uh, Max Verstappen is also on softs because uh, either wise he would be able, he would be ahead or, or be basically right behind him. So I know they're on softs now. What means that does give me a good thing that I'm on a different compound, so hopefully I can make some sort of. Uh, Gain. Obviously, trying to pass all these cars it does lose me a lot of time, but 
I basically... The annoying thing about this track is, is it's not like when I've done it on Monza Austria where you can do overtakes in them places like on almost every corner there's some sort of opportunity you could do as long as you have a pace. In this corner, like these sort of corners here, there's some, you're never going to have a pace to overtake on these corners. I better not damage the wing. Okay, we're trying to get Gasly into the final corners, onto the main straight. This is going so slow, I can just go down the inside. I kept two, I kept, I kept two tyres uh, on the track. Obviously, realistically, oh, mm, wait, Max Verstappen's out, so that means uh, Bottas is in the lead. They might have actually crashed though. I think I'm gonna check. I want to check what happened. Yeah, I, I tried to check, but it happened just a bit ago, so we couldn't actually see what happened because I'm wondering why Bottas. Uh, it's formed behind, like did they hit something? But the Verstappen was a lot further ahead. This could already get a lot more easier than I was thinking it would be. Because the all thing thing up together up here. So let's see what goes on. And as I guess, something must have happened to them both. Because I'm looking at Bottas, his front wing has been damaged. The bit the bit on the side has been damaged off. Uh, this is gonna make it a lot easier for us to basically just win this race, but also I would prefer it to be a bit of a challenge. That's why I'm most probably not just gonna overtake all of these here because of that. I'm not probably could yeah, I could easily like most probably go around like three or four of these guys. And obviously I want this to have to be a challenge, I don't just wanna win easily. Bottas will pit for a new wing, so after that, so I'm just gonna basically conserve my tires until then. So I have to have some sort of challenge to face. Because I could easily probably overtake at least three or four of these by now. Pure Gaz is actually overtook me. And I'm not gonna have to get a move on to him. That was not supposed to happen. Yeah, it will be easy enough, I guess, to overtake. I call also a bunch of fuel saved up. Might have to do it here. Put on the gas, put on ERS. Yeah, I'm gonna to to pull it off on this straight, going into the tight area here. So I can position back. Now I'm gonna try and go after Perez on this straight here. Just go around the outside, put on the pull up the, the revs, put on DRS, and uh, yeah, there's no challenge from him. Three of them have gone in the pits. Leclerc. Albon and Ricardo all in the pits. That means it is changing tyres time. But actually, I think I am. Okay, I'm just going to go inside. I didn't just not have enough power. If he didn't have DRS, could have easily done that. But yeah, uh, the soft only lasts for really five tyres. Uh, well, five laps, not five tyres. I need to speak English from now on. But yeah, they only last five laps. These mediums last for ten laps. And they already. Uh, five laps on the line, already pretty thing. He squeezes me very thinly. How do you have? It's fine hard. Oh wait, is that trying to... No, for a second. Try to change my down for us. But yeah, now this, at this point, it's basically... I, I need to just go as fast as I can and basically just to see how... Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to check some of the tabs. But yeah, this, at this point it's basically just me, um, I need to gain as much time I can as possible and go as fast as possible and use these tires as best as I can just to see, uh, just so I don't fall too far behind. Who knows, I might even bloody, uh, gain, gain the lead if I go fast enough, so that's just my job at the moment, just to try that out and, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, at this point uh, it's not going to be much really going to, most probably, uh, going to be seen from here until I pick most probably. So I think I'll do a quick update guys, so, um, yeah, looking at the times, uh, yeah, I am, to, I'm pretty much getting very, I'm um, getting very well on them. To be honest, I don't think them switching the mediums, like, yeah, there's only basically this lap and the next lap and then, uh, I'll be changing tyres. But yeah, my, science has only really lost, like, I think 1.7 seconds to me or something like that, or oh, 2 seconds or something like that now. Two, three seconds to me, but at the same time, the card has also lost three seconds, even with having a 
brand new tyres, like having a, like, well, buy a pit will have five laps new tyres. And, uh, yeah, they're basically, signs from Ricardo both losing roughly the same amount of time. I think Ricardo is a bit quicker, but not that much quicker. So, buy a pit, I'm most probably come out like two or three seconds in the lead. I don't really think they're much of a threat, to be honest. Pretty sure I'm pretty much clean sailing. Like I don't think, uh, yeah, these last laps have been just me driving around. I haven't had really any contact, anything really. It's just being me cruising around, just seeing how fast I can get. Except for some little scrapes like that, I'm trying to push it. Obviously, I don't have to push it, but I, I just like to see how far I can uh, push my lap times. But yeah, I'll see you guys when we get into the pits. Science has pitted onto the hards. Hmm, that's a bit weird, but okay. So right guys, here we go, we're going into the box right now and uh yeah, they are far behind. I really wanna see how much time I feel like I'm gonna have like I could be like ten seconds ahead of some shit, I feel like. I feel like I'm gonna be really far ahead when uh Yeah, I am gonna be out of the box before they end the coming on the final corner. Well not box, I mean pit lane. But I think I'm still in the pit lane. Yeah, they come over here. You know, they are, big, they are going to be a bit closer than I thought, but I'm going to be, let's see, five, five seconds, four seconds, three, that's because I couldn't take that corner the best, but yeah, I am three seconds ahead after being like four, well, after being like a second or two behind, like two seconds behind, I'm now three seconds ahead, so yeah, we've gained time in our pit stop, now we're on to some fresh softs. Yeah, I feel like the start off with mediums has definitely been a good strategy. I think at this point, I will just, uh, I might just do like a time lapse or something. Just time lapse it over to the end because of, uh, yeah, I don't think really much is gonna happen. I've already won it. So usually what happens when I do these challenges, I also just do a lot of these by myself without recording them. Uh, usually it's like, uh, by the pit stop, I can. I usually I'm um, fifth or fourth for like I'm um, basically third, uh, and basically the last stint after changing tyres is basically just seeing if I can catch up to the front two. Half the time I like just manage to catch up and beat them. The other times I like maybe I might have just caught up as I get to the check of the flag. But yeah, at this point it's basically just going to be a time lapse. So I'll see you guys at the end. And there we go, guys. The guy's gonna talk. Keep up talking. Yep, so there we go, guys. We just did that, and I think at the end I won by like 18 seconds. Well, it kind of shows, uh, yeah, the pace. If. I think if Valtteri Bottas and uh, Verstappen hadn't basically been took out of the race, I think. I feel like I would have maybe just able to overtook them. I think it depends on how fast I took Bottas, like how fast I took overtook Bottas. And then with the stab, and it might have been like the second to last lap, some of that. Over the last lap, I would actually able to have a chance to overtake him. So yeah, Bottas came six. If you put that into the uh, sounds, we'll the fast lap. But you probably understand Ferrari, and it becomes second. 
You know, yeah, we got the fastest lap by three seconds. So we're actually, I'm actually very fast. Like, uh, since I've started actually changing setups and actually using setups to see if it got faster, yeah, uh, I'm a lot better at this track now, and I'm actually really enjoying this track. But yeah, uh, this video was only going to be really a short video, but if you did enjoy this video and you want to see some more of this, maybe make a bigger video about this or something, maybe do 50% of race, some of that, bigger race, uh, please, put, uh, please put a comment down below if you want to see that. And yeah, if you did like this video and you want to see more of this, remember to like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you next time. So, cheerios!